Cheers. Ah, that's some good stuff. Now for today's video, we're going to check out the lock filtered pitcher. And I know you're probably thinking it's just a typical jug and they've stuck a filter in it. Whoop de doo. But there's of course more going on underneath and I wanna see exactly what you're getting for your money since it hits quite an expensive price tag that I'll dive into later on. But having recently reviewed their bottle filtered, I've been very impressed with the technology and also the performance that you get out of it to not only sterilize, but also filter and filter effectively, especially if you're on a country or traveling around and you don't have access to clean water. Uh, so this just puts your mind at ease. I've literally been using it as my day-to-day -day driver, whether I'm at home or traveling around. And honestly, having a filter in a bottle has actually been really nice. So if you're interested in learning more, check out those videos. I'll be putting it somewhere up here. On to today's video, the Lark filtered pitcher, which is much better suited for your home. Now for disclosure, Lark did send me the filtered pitcher to review. However, this is not a sponsored video. All of my thoughts are my own. We're going to unbox this highlight some of the features and just get my overall first impressions of this, as well as um, giving you a bit of a lowdown in terms of price tag and value. If you do find this video useful and you think the Lark filtered pitcher is right for you or any of Lark's products, then you can purchase them in the links down below and I do get a commission, just help support my channel and make more useful videos for you guys. So without further ado, this is the Lark filtered pitcher. Let's get down to it. I'm going to highlight some of the information they put around the box that might be useful. So if you do prefer to skip it and want to go straight to the unboxing, then I'll put the time stamp down below. You get one advanced filter. And this is 1.9 liters capacity, which is roughly eight cups. So pretty good amount. We have the Lark Pitcher Purvis, which I guess is the official name. A smart way to hydrate, intelligent filter live tracking, easy filter replacements. Two-stage filtration plus purification is better. Better filtration and pure vis technology, the same that you'd find in their bottle. Our innovative plant-based filters are independently tested to NSF ANSI 42.53. In terms of what they filter, lead, chlorine, mercury, cadmium, copper, zinc, VOCs, bacteria, pharma, PFAS, PFOS, and HAA5. Pure vis inhibits and deactivates naturally occurring heterophobic bacteria that may cause odor and impact the taste of water compared to non-UV treated water pitchers. It is nicely packaged and very informative, so I do give Lark props. Ooh, this feels good. If I must say, while geeking out for just a pitcher, but I can appreciate it. Actually, I don't really know what to expect for 1.9 liter, but this is nicely done. It's not very wide or very big as I've tried with other pitchers. So this has a nice compact feel to it. Might be good also taking a view if you're going camping or road trip. And here's what the top looks like. This, this is actually a button. The handle, it is made of a plastic. Um, this part is obviously the more weightier section since you will have the filter to install here. Kind of got a, a fairly soft touch plastic, although this part, it feels a little bit on the cheaper end. You can hear some of that creaking. Um, so maybe like a, a soft grip on this would have been nice, a matte touch. But yeah, feels good. Hear some of that creak. This is also a plastic, but this feels a lot nicer, the bottom half. And of course, so that you can see the water as it filters. Lark etched into the body and remove the film. But this is the lid itself, very light. Advanced filter here. It looks like we also have a charging cable. This is a soft touch similar to the PureVis on their portable bottles. I like the magnetic connector. And then the second stage would be the advanced filter. This is where we install the filter. We can remove the entire thing. See what this advanced filter looks like. All right, here we go. Wow, can you see that? There's like powdery bits. Oh, this is, it's got like a, a soft membrane. <laughs> Something's telling me you might be able to and that's maybe how you would replace it. And that's basically it. 
not fully recessed around this part where the button is. You can see it's, it's fine. It's just me being a bit stickler for details. But again, if you are paying that amount, something to note. We cannot have a picture without demoing and putting water inside. So let's go and do that now. Ten minutes are done. All right, so that's emptied. And we've got our recently dialed in filter that slots neatly here. And this is the PureVis one that I mentioned before. Sterilize the filter area, so that's really cool. The magnet's not that strong, but I just stretched it enough to show you. So while it's charging, it flashes green and we can just slot that here. And then they also have an app that we're gonna look at definitely for a tech forward type of picture. Yeah, it's actually looking very exciting. So we'll install that as well. Well, if you have Android, it's not available. It looks like it is available for Apple, connect it all through that same app and see them all. Power, the filter life, the volume per day, the water levels, and based on that, your consumption. Advanced filter, um, it shows like an effectiveness rating showing 69%, and pure viz, it shows a power saving mode. All right, let's fill this up with water. first time it's always good to do like a test run so that's why you can see it's very cloudy here um, since the filters are kind of going through the first rinse it is a lot cleaner the second time around so after going through a roughly 15 minute process just to let the filter soak for the 10, pretty much crystal clear. Uh, so I've actually run out of normal glasses. So we're going to go fancy and I'm going to pour my first water from the Lark Purvis pitcher. Cheers to you guys for making it all the way through this video. Mmm, I swear water always tastes better when you've had a long video shooting session. It's impressive. Uh, the unboxing experience, very informative. The two-stage process is basically sterilize and filter. It literally filters out a host of contaminants, pollutants, metals. But the advanced filter, and I believe it's using the Nano Zero Tech, means its filtration performance is a lot more effective. So it's really eliminating a lot of the bits that maybe traditional filters don't necessarily do as well. And it's effective for longer. So they do rate roughly two or three months, depending on your usage. You're going to get really high filtering performance. So you're getting cleaner water for a longer period of time and you don't need to replace the filters as often as you might have had to. Through that, you wouldn't necessarily know how well those traditional filters were working because it's got none of the insightful tech that I think is actually very welcoming uh, to the PureVis picture. If you've got Apple, download the app, very easy way to have it connected and see the monitoring levels. It's something that I try to stay top of with my Galaxy Watch 4, but that's simply just pressing plus one per cup that you're drinking. Because it's got like tracking levels within the tech, then it does give you a more refined and accurate view of the amount of water con you're consuming per day. But it also gives you a good way to track the filter performance and roughly how long before you need to replace that for those who are really trying to stay on top of their hydration or well-being and health. It's just not something that's available for Android yet, which I'm hoping they can do soon. The sterilizing part of the picture means your filters aren't going to build up bacteria over time. It's gonna break those down. It's gonna kill them off. It actually 
does make a difference to the taste. But yeah, this tastes really good actually. Uh, just to round off this video with my final thoughts on my first impressions, my final thoughts on my first impressions. It's definitely a premium pitcher, but as I've started to unpack a lot of the tech, some of it I'm familiar with from their portable PureViz and the bottle filter that I recently reviewed. Monaco Blue looks really dope as well. One thing I would have liked is using a better handle grip. It's LED light that glows around, really nice touch. Now when it comes to price with everything considered, I think it's still quite high, but I also think it's got a lot going for it that it is justified. I do find I'm more willing to invest and pay to get that as long as the quality and there's something unique about it. And an, an investment that people do have to really think about. Um, I do think the long-term benefits is great. I think if you've already into that filter lifestyles, then the actual premium might not be as daunting besides the initial upfront cost. It's kind of similar to the PureVis bottle when they launched it, a little bit more expensive. In a two-stage cleaning process that is literally like no other filter jugs. And based on my experience using the portable bottles, they work and they work very well and they still continue to work. So I definitely uh, vouch and trust Lark's technology to work for me. Although, you know, if you do have any issues, do let me know down in the comments, um, since some people have had different experiences for better or worse. Uh, but for me, Lark's products have held up well. I think this is an excellent addition for home that completes the trinity of the Lark lifestyle. The filter prices, they could do with being a bit cheaper. Um, if you go for the subscription model where Lark will automatically send you on every two months, you can save a few euros and dollars that way and it does make the cost of your traditional filter to a higher performing filter um, more palatable and, and easier on the wallet. So if you're about filter life, I think it's worth the extra. That pretty much wraps it up and I'm going to <laughs> Finish that occasion with my second and final glass of this video. Thanks a lot, Team KBA. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the Lark Pureviz picture down below, and if you've got one yourself, share your experience. Keep an eye out for my follow-up review once I've had a few months of usage by subscribing to my channel, and check out the rest of my playlist for more travel stories and gear reviews. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Cheers. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tastes good though.